Okay, welcome back to the channel again today guys. Today we're going to talk about baseboard heaters and what size wire you should use for baseboard heaters. So stick around. Alright, so the industry standard for baseboard heater wiring. 240 or 220 volt basic baseboard electric heaters that you would see in a house or a bungalow or any type of electric heater is 12 gauge wire excuse me you can use 12 gauge wire which is the 300 volt rated with a red and black you can use 14 but the industry standard is pretty much 12 you can also go down to a 10 uh, but we don't re recommend it because it gets too hard to work with so when you're running um, electric baseboard heaters in a circuit, you're gonna see this 12 gauge wire. This 12 gauge wire is rated for 20 amps. Now we're only allowed to load the wire up to 80% because of the breaker rating. So the breaker rating states that we can go up to 80%, which is 16 amps. 16 amps basically at 240 volts is 3,840 watts. But you're not going to get 3,840 watts. You're probably going to come in more like 3,750. And the reason for that is because most baseboard heaters are made in, I can't tell if that's backwards or not, but anyway, are made in 300, 500, 1,000, 750, 1,250, 1,500, 1,750, right on through up to 2,500. So you can basically daisy chain these 12 gauge wires from one heater to the next um, to add up to 3,750 watts per circuit. So that's usually how we do it in a home. Now, there are larger individual electric heating loads like fan force heaters, uh, garage heaters, which require larger circuits. So what you're gonna do is take the, the wattage on the heater itself and divide it by your voltage, which will give you the amperage of what you need for that circuit. So as an example, a 4,800 watt construction heater divided by 240 volts is actually 20 amps that is too large to put on a piece of 12 gauge so you need to go up to 10 gauge which is rated for 30 amps so it really boils down to how many amps the circuit pulls or the electric baseboard pulls uh, from the circuit itself as to the wire size now included in this uh, video i'll put a link in the description of the video uh, there's a different chart about the different sizes and stuff but basically you should be using the 240 volt wire uh, or sorry the 300 volt wire in the red and the black that indicates that it's 240 volts instead of the regular white 120 volt um, and you should be adding up your circuits to 3750 watts that's basically it um, you can go less than that we still put it on a 20 amp circuit so if we put one heater on a 20 on a on a uh, say a 500 watt heater on a circuit we'll still put it on 12 gauge 20 amp um, and put it on a, a 20 amp breaker because it's only loading the circuit up partially but in in examples we do go to the full uh, like on a wiring house we will go to the full circuit so we'll do like all the bedroom heaters on one circuit and then we'll do the kitchen heat on another circuit and the living room heat on another circuit etc etc basement heat and we'll mark it all out on the consumers panel so I hope this short video helped you a little bit understand about the wire sizing and what size wire for an electric baseboard heater. The biggest thing you need to check the wattage of the heater and then divide it by the voltage and that will give you your amperage as to what size wire. And then of course, once you get your amperage, you can size your wire off of that. So if you liked the video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one guys. Thanks.